everybody we are back for another review of hustle and soul this is season three the finale episode 10 revenge is sweet so before we get into all that good fuckery and bullshit let me remind you to please hit the notification button subscribe to my channel and um give this video a thumbs up let me know what you think about it so let's get right into the bullshit so to start off chef lp and anna they are at the radio station and they are talking about their relationship they're also talking about the restaurant of course and um the people there at the radio station of course they already know about the bullshit they're going between n and lp so they asked them about the relationship you know what do they you know think how far they've come yada 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 so chef lp got the nerve to refer to their relationship as bobby and whitney but without the pills that ain't that's not a good analogy bruh don't 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 no don't no don't do that don't do that which i can't see bobby and whitney because y'all motherfuckers is always fighting she always going up Shot your goddamn head. So it, it do be a lot of bullshit that Bobby and Whitney do but without the pills. So yeah, yeah, I give it to you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, they also talk about with them being in South Beach, everybody there is really health conscious. They watch their weight, they gotta fit into them two pieces. So, how does their soul food differ from every other soul food that's out there that's known for being fatty and greasy and yada yada yada? So Chef LP tells him, you know, my shit ain't dripping and um drenched in grease, my shit is good. I I cook my shit in cornmeal, which is gluten-free, which I ain't even fucking know. So that makes me feel good when I fry my shit in cornmeal. It's gluten-free. I'm doing something right. I ain't a vegan, but I'm something like it. <laughs> Anyways, moving right along from that. So, yeah, they was talking about that and, you know, a little radio station. Yada, yada, yada. They chopped it up. But while they talking about that, Anna's in her green screen because you know that bitch got something up her sleeve, right? You know she's been planning something, right? So she's like, yeah, let me go ahead and let him laugh it up, talk it up, chop it up, yada, yada, yada. But, uh, I got some for that ass. Mm-hmm. Gotta watch that bitch, Anna. <laughs> you gotta watch that bitch, Anna. Back at um, the pink teacup, um, the twins and Chef LP are cleaning out the pool, and the twins are being like real petty with each other, real, real petty. Um, Steph, of course, is in his feelings because you know Don, of course. Uh, Dom, of course, is going to eventually be going into Germany, um, so he can take on that modeling um, role that he got, a uh, modeling uh, gig or whatever that he got. And so they're being real petty back and forth, back and forth with each other. Instead of them talking to each other, they both talking to uh, Chef LP and telling Chef LP to tell the other one to do something, which is fucking stupid, like some big ass goddamn kids. And so Chef LP tells him like, "Hey, y'all are brothers. Y'all, y'all gotta be a team. Y'all gotta work together." So Steph with his petty ass, well, we can't be a team when this fool is getting ready to leave. And Chef LP talking about like, "Man, where you finna leave?" He was like, "Yeah, you know, I got an offer to do, you know, some modeling." So Chef LP is proud of me, like, "Yeah, boy, you know, that's good." He was like, "Yeah, but it's." Germany that's what Steph has said on the side because you know he being petty and shit so you know Steph of course is telling him you know we ain't never been apart you know I'm proud of him but we ain't never been apart we ain't never been apart from each other yada the same old shit that he crying on which I get it that's his brother they didn't have a father growing up you know their father died the other one committed suicide and so they didn't have a father growing up so um Chef LP sits them, down, sits them down and he talks to them. He tells them, hey, look, I didn't have a brother. Like, I can't have my brother now like I want to because my brother's in prison. So you have the opportunity to be able to hop on a plane, train, automobile, whatever the fuck it has to be to get to your brother. So suck it up. Stop goddamn whining and be proud of your brother. Be there for your brother. So, of course, you know, they hug it out. They brothers. They get over it. Yada, yada, yada. You know, it was cute. Moving right along from that. Cola. Hmm. Cola meets up with John John. She goes over to John John and Eric's house. Not apartment. Not a condo. These motherfuckers got a house. A house. <laughs> I mean, a heart is a house for love. And I learned. Yeah, these motherfuckers got a house together. <laughs> but anyways, um, and as she walks in, John John got the nerve to tell her, oh, welcome Welcome to your second home. She like, nigga. This ain't my second home. This your home with you and your nigga. This ain't my home. Now that ain't what she said. <laughs> I know that's what the fuck she wanted to say though, nigga. Fuck you and your home, goddammit. That's what fuck I was. I don't even went over there. That's just me though. We ain't talking about me. We talking about her. Move right along from that. So, um, anyways, do y'all notice the way, um, John John walks? He walks like he holding a quarter between his butt or he playing a game where he got to hold a ball between his butt cheeks real tight so he can't 
defer from walking like that real tight. It looks like it hurts. It looks like his butt cheeks hella hurt. But um, he's telling Cola and um, Eric that his mother is in town. And so he wants their support as he comes out to his mother and tells his mother that he's bisexual. Which, John John, bruh, you gay bruh. You love Cola, yes, but you gay bruh. And that just... It's it's Pride Month, baby. Come on out the closet, baby. That's all right, bro. You can do that, bro. Anyways, though, of course, Cola says she wants to be there to support him regardless of what they're going through, regardless of what their situation is. She is going to be there to support him like... Oh, Cola, 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 Cola. She love him, no. She love her little nigga. She never let him go. <laughs> Chef LP and Anna go out to dinner. Chef LP got his own, uh, he look like, uh, his jacket like an old in living color painted, uh, painted splatted jacket. The shit was, it was all right, you know, if you're going to the certain, the soul lay or something like that. But, you know, you know, that's Chef LP. You know, him and his fucking jackets. His fucking jackets. I swear his fucking jackets. Anyways, so he tells Anna that he is going on the Steve Harvey show. He's going to, um, he gonna cook a whole sweet potato pie when he on there, okay? Which, um, she's okay with that. And he tells her that he needs her to hold down the restaurant while he's gone. Of course, she's okay with that. She been waiting for this nigga to get off and do something anyway. Because she got something planned. That sneaky bitch got something up all the way up her fucking sleeve. She been waiting on this nigga to leave. Okay, babe. Bye. I hold it down. That's cool. That's cool, babe. So moving on from that, the only scene that seemed truly genuine, um, I would say throughout this whole show, um, Chef LP and Anna meet up because they are taking um, Anika to rehab. And that seemed like some real shit. She seemed like she was like for real, for real going to rehab. This did not seem like it was scripted at all. It didn't seem like nothing that was made up. She had her hat pulled down over her face. I'm talking about no makeup on, no weave in her hair, no crazy, you know, outrageous clothes. She looked like a bitch that was really hurting, that was really finna go and get some for real fucking help. And I pray, I hope that Anna and LP are really gonna be there and support this girl and they're not just doing this shit for the cameras because the girl really do need some for real, for real help and she needs some people in her corner. And I'm, again, I hope Anna and LP, I hope y'all are for real and I hope y'all gonna stay down with that girl because she can really use y'all because of course she... I mean, shit, she's trying to get her shit together so she can get her kid back, at least be in her baby girl life. But, um, yeah, she fucked up. Shout out to Anika. I hope she do get better. So, Chef LP is in L.A. He is at the Steve Harvey show, um, and I'm glad he got there before um, Steve Harvey got canceled. That would have been fucked up. So, <laughs> and they on there looking like they making a bomb-ass sweet potato pie. He got the flick of the wrist and all of that shit going. It looks fucking good. And, of course, Steve loved it. Um, the whole time, meanwhile, while he's in L.A. on a Steve Harvey show doing his little old, you know, cooking thing, Anna and her sneaky ass is back in fucking Miami. She's meeting with the realtor to sign a lease on a fucking restaurant in Atlanta. This bitch done went behind this nigga back, took out $1.3 of the $1.4 insurance million money that he got and opened up a fucking restaurant in Atlanta, meets with the realtor, signs the fucking um, lease, gets the keys the whole time this bitch is doing that, right? So Thandie's in the cut. She peeping every fucking thing that's going on. And Thandie's like, little does Anna know, my whole give and take for her, my reason for making a deal with her is because this was really about me. In the end, my ultimate end game is Lawrence. So both of these hoes, is, they getting something out of this. They both playing each other and they both getting something out of it. And in the end game, they're, all, they're, they're, they're both getting Lawrence. That's really what it is. Fuckery at its best, y'all. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, um, Chef LP calls Anna after the show, and he's telling her, you know, like, hey, I did great. I knocked it out of the park. You know, everything was great. And so she was, she's very proud of him. You know, she's telling him, you know, yay, I'm proud of you. You know, I knew everybody was going to love it because I loved it too. And so he's telling her that, 
from Steve Harvey and from a lot of the people that are out there, they're all telling him that LA would be the perfect spot for him to open up his soul food restaurant because there are not a lot of soul food restaurants that are out there. They're not a, a lot of good ones that people would go to. And he got this really, uh, this really big push from Steve Harvey. And you know, Steve Harvey, that's a big name. So he's telling Anna, you know, hey, look, I think, I think I've settled on LA as the next place where I want to open up the restaurant. Not knowing the whole time, this bitch already got your restaurant, Chef LP. It's in the ATL, shout it. Peace up, ATL down, you know. It's, it's already... <laughs> it's already signed and done, bruh. She never did that, bruh. Hmm. Cole, John, John, and Eric meet up with Eric's mom to tell Eric's, I'm sorry, to tell John, John's mom about the whole scenario with all of them about... The, the threesome love affair that isn't really a threesome, but it's a all together with them love affair type thing, which is so fucking crazy. Um, his mom is so super cute. She was cute. Mama was doing that. She better get it, girl. Yes. But he tells his mom that he's bisexual. He doesn't tell his mom that he's gay, which he loves Cola. Yes, I get, but you chose Eric. You, you, you so torn up about it. I feel like, in my opinion, because you are gay. I don't feel like you all, you, you bisexual. I feel like you are gay and it's tearing you up so much because you may not want to be that, but that's what you are. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But what is wrong is you fucking with Cola and you stringing that girl along with that. That's what's fucking wrong. So, what's, what's crazy, his mom didn't seem surprised at all anyway. He tells his mom that he's been on and off with Eric for the last six years. And that um, six years ago when they moved in together, he was like, you remember when, you know, I, I told you that, you know, we were roommates, but we stayed in two separate rooms. She was like, mm-hmm, yeah. So, which the, his mom done asked that before, or it's been brought up before. So, his mother was not surprised that he was bisexual, not one bit. I think she was probably, like I said, what mother does not know? I'm sorry. Maybe there are some mothers who really don't know their their children out there like that who really you know don't know they hide it from them but if you're close with your mom i'm sure she has an, an inkling of it she's just waiting on you to say something and if your mama gonna love you regardless boy just boy let your freak flag fry it's pride month baby do you baby do you baby <laughs> but um his mom does say how is this fair to Cola? And Cola's like, exactly, how is this fair to me? Because ultimately, you know, you stringing me along. You you telling me that you love me as well and that you love Eric and that you don't want to choose. And like he said, ultimately, I didn't choose. And she's like, look, you, you know, I'm not going to be in limbo with you going back and forth about the shit. And so... She gets, no, not, sh he gets mad. He gets up and he leaves. He walks outside or whatever. And so Eric comes out there behind him. And so Eric is like, basically like, you know, choose who do you want to be with? And so they kind of start going back and forth. Cause John John's like, I'm here, ain't I? I'm here, ain't I? And so Cola comes out there and she's like, look, y'all not finna do this. Since you don't want to choose, I'm going to fucking choose. Fuck it. I love you. I respect you, but I need to do me. And so John John was kind of, all right, you know, fine, fine, whatever, whatever. And so she storms off. She walks out and she leaves. I understand her being upset, but boo boo. First of all, you was back in New York. It was cold and it was raining. I done been to New York when it's cold and it's raining and you in the city. She ain't have no jacket on and she ain't have no purse. And then when she leaving, he like, at least let me call you a Uber. Um, let me take you home. She was like, oh, I can call an Uber. Bitch, with what purse? What phone? What wallet? You left out that bitch and, and it was raining too? You mess up. You finna mess up your good finger wave, your see-through shirt with the bra you got on, and, and, and go where? Go where? Go where? Don't they? Where? Where was you finna go? But she got mad. She left, and later on we see she ended up going on a date with some little cute buff dude or whatever. She's trying to get her life. Get your life, Cola. Get your life, boo. Y'all, 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 y'all. So this here, this last scene here. <laughs> Anna and Fandy greet Chef LP as he comes back. He's returning from L.A., he had a great time on the Steve Harvey show, and he's telling them that he wants to open up a restaurant in L.A. And so, Fandy has a champagne glass, and Anna has her champagne glass, 
and you know they're they're toasting and you know shit is kind of awkward and you know they're kind of quiet awkwardly staring at each other look like they probably just got through doing something nasty and so chef lp is like uh you know what the hell is going on here what's wrong with y'all you know what what the fuck what's good what's popping what's good and so she's like okay so huh here here you go she hands them some keys here you go these are the keys to your new restaurant in atlanta and he's like excuse, excuse me huh excuse me well while you were gone I took it upon myself to take out $1.3 million and I've signed the lease on a restaurant in Atlanta. And Chef LP is pissed. Of course. Bitch, what? You just went and, and she, like, like, I'm getting speechless. I'm getting speechless saying the fucking shit because I couldn't believe the bitch did fuck shit either. He's like, how the fuck could you do this, Anna? She's like, well, you made me partner on the corporation, boo-boo. So I just went into your bank account. I took $1.3 million and I opened up a restaurant. Surprise. Cheers. Surprise. He like, you can't do this, Santa. He was mad. He was mad than the motherfucker. But you know what Anna started? Anna started punking this nigga. Anna's like, what you doing? What's wrong with you? Man up. You say you want to be the hottest thing popping, right? Man up. Stand strong. What's wrong with you? This nigga looking like, he don't know what the fuck to fucking do. So you know what made the fucking shit even fucking more awkward and crazy? This heifer gets up, walks over to him all slowly and seductively, right? Kisses him on the lips and like, look, relax, relax. We got something else for you. We've decided that we are all three going to be in a relationship. Fandy is now going to be a part of our relationship. Fandy then gets up. She walks over to him and kisses him right on smack dab in the mouth. And they're like, hey, this is what you wanted, right? <laughs> you got two restaurants, two bitches. The world is yours, my nigga. <laughs> the world is yours. I don't know how real that goddamn scene was because it seemed real fucking fake. It seemed real for real. But then again, it's like, what? Duh. And then the episode ended there. It ended. That's supposed to be the cliffhanger. Um, I don't know if they're going to be back for a season four. If they are, I'm interested and I'm going to be here for it because I, I got to know nigga. I got to know what's going on with this bullshit here that is the pink teacup okay let me know what y'all thought about this video if you like what you see please hit the subscribe button share this video and give it a thumbs up and i will see y'all in the next video peace out what's up y'all do me a favor and share the video please make sure to subscribe to my channel let me know what you think and um hit that notification button so you will be up to date when i upload my latest videos i have